Hi there, everyone. Welcome to Confessions of a Domestic Engineer. My name is Christian Eschbach, and today I'm just gonna I'm gonna do a little just Marvel the whole way around. This is, this is a Marvel reflection episode because I got to talk about Hawkeye and Spider Man. I'm not gonna do them separately. All right, let's start with Hawkeye. Hawkeye was fantastic. I uh, I talked about it at the very beginning. Um, at the very end, I absolutely love everything they did with the Hawkeye series. I've seen a few videos where apparently they were planning on doing more. I've read a few articles where, you know, there was discussions of doing more. Just due to production with COVID restrictions, stuff like that, it really kind of messed things up a little bit. Well, you know, stuff happens. Um... It was great seeing Vincent D'Onofrio come in. Oh my god. Oh, I squealed like a little girl in that one little cameo with his hand where he says one word. I squealed because I recognized the voice right away. And to get him to watch him in a full-on fight. And, you know, I'm sure some people are going to talk shit about the fact that, well, he was fighting a girl, blah, 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 blah. Well... Piss on that crap. You know, I mean, because Kate was giving her all and Kingpin was swinging, man. Like, it was just to get to watch him be a true villain. Totally villain esque brute of a man. It was brilliant to get to watch. There were some great jokes in there, but the last episode, really, I think they did Hawkeye dirty and they rushed the last episode. I think it could have been a little bit longer. I think there should have been a little bit more of a buildup because I think they did Kingpin a little bit dirty too. Awesome, though. Fantastic. Uh, there's a few things I definitely would have liked to have seen in there, which I said I honestly thought was going to be in there and wasn't, and I found out later was. Like, apparently, they did want to put Matt Murdock in there for the end credit scene, but he was so busy with other Marvel properties filming scenes that they couldn't schedule him in. They couldn't make it work, unfortunately. Um, and... I love the big tree scene in New York. I think it was great. I love the owl. Great jokes. Um, the part I love the most about the tree scene in New York is the fact that you do actually get to see it in Spider-Man Far From Home. And you can tell Spider-Man Far From Home takes place slightly before. <laughs> uh, at least that part of the movie takes place slightly before. And using that, I am going to go into that one. Ooh, best Spider-Man movie to date. It really, honestly is. I I have loved Tom Holland's entire run as Spider-Man. I think he has been fantastic as Spider-Man. I think he has done a marvelous job. I never watched any of the Andrew Garfield movies, and it was because I didn't like what they were doing with the villains. I think they were doing the villains dirty. And then um, with uh, Tobey Maguire, they just kind of, the studio and everything, there was too much involvement towards the end. Too many hands in the cookie jar towards the end, and that's what hurt that. Started off really nice and strong. The end didn't go great. Okay, it shouldn't be a spoiler for anybody that all three are in the movie, okay? Um and it's great to see all three of them getting to converse with each other and interact with each other and doing spider stories. I'm a huge fan of Spider-Verse. Spider-Verse storytelling is great. As a matter of fact, give me one second. All right. So, as I was saying, Spider-Verse. I love Spider-Verse, okay? I love the stories within the Spider-Verse. I love all the different alter alters and, and different personalities. And I'm using the actual Spider-Verse book... But I'm talking in general, because the Spider-Verse is its own thing, you know? And it's really cool. So, Peter Parker, everybody loves Peter Parker. Who doesn't love Peter Parker? Just so we're very clear, though. This here, Miguel O'Hara, that's my Spider-Man. All right? I love Miguel. I think he's awesome, and he was a completely great and different take on Spider-Man. And then you've got Miles Morales. 
I have read all of Miles' original run before the Great Reboot. I read most of Miguel's original run before the Great Reboot, and even some after the Great Reboot. Even with Miles, I read a little after the Great Reboot. And then Peter Parker, man, like, you know, Peter was my, my you know, who... That he, he's the Spider-Man I started with. He was one of the first comic books I got into. Not the first, but one of. I love everything multiverse when they get into it. So for me, this was a great movie the whole way around. I love the multiverse stuff. What If was always a huge thing for me. Doctor Strange, a character I love. I can go pull out some of my Doctor Strange to show you. Um, you know, so this this was a movie meant for me. I really wish Charlie Cox would have had more time in the movie. I'm sure he does, and it just ended up on the cutting room floor to condense the movie down a little bit. I w I'm hoping there's an extended edition where he's got like you know a good 15, 20 minutes in there or something like that. Uh, his, his scene was fantastic. That was in there. I wanted more. I really, really wanted more. I really wanted to see Daredevil get in on the battle at the end. I did. Oh, my God. I would have squealed like such a little girl. Like, the three Spider-Man. Okay, that's great. But I would have squealed like such a little girl if Charlie Cox had gotten in there as Daredevil. I want to see that duo team up so badly. That was such a great duo from the comic books. Um, so I, I really, really want that. I um I really like the villains, what they did with the villains. I really like that they didn't play them up entirely as villains. It was quite, a, you know, you almost thought that they were going to do a sinister 6. It really felt like there was a proper build up for a, a, a early sinister 6 kind of thing going on in there. And, you know, we, we did not get the Sinister Six at all, which I'm cool with. That was awesome. What we did get, though, is we got to see, I, once again, the Andrew Garfield movies I didn't watch because I hated what they did with the villains. Jamie Foxx, what they did with Jamie Foxx with Electro was one of the things I truly, truly despised and hated. They did him right. They gave him justice. They did right by him. They did proper they made him into the Electro that he needed to be. And I was happy with that. That was really cool. Still wasn't the same Electro from the comics that, you know, I'm into. But they they made him better. They really did. So that was really cool. Um, Lizard. I still don't like what they did with Lizard. I really... I don't like that they keep taking him and having him running around naked. I, I just, I'm not cool with it. I'm not. Lizard, to me, was always the lab coat and the pants, at least. You know, something, you know, like, true lizard look. I So, I wasn't, it wasn't bad, but I wasn't thrilled with it still. You know, they, they did, they worked off of what they had. Goblin. Oh, and William Defoe. Oh, my God. William Defoe as Goblin returning was brilliant. Sorry, I can never remember the name of the actor who does Doc Ock. He he was he was wonderful in there as well. I really enjoyed watching him in there. I really loved the way they played up the characters. Um I forget the name of the actor as well that does Sandman. I was impressed when he to see that he was there. I for some reason I don't know why. I thought he had passed away a while ago. So I was kind of, I thought that's why, you know, through most of the movie, he's in sand form. You know, he's just kind of stuck in sand form. He doesn't do anything else. And I, I thought that was the reason why they were doing it. And then at the end, they had him face up me. I, I'll have to check into that. Maybe I'll double check and put an edit up here, you know. Um, the whole way around, I I loved how they played up all those characters. I loved how they brought them in. Um, obviously, there were a few things in there that people could argue about or whine about or stuff like that. I didn't need to see Gwen Stacy. I didn't need to see Mary Jane. Um, 
they 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 were not necessary to the movie. Tony Stark was not necessary to the movie. You know, there there was a whole multitude of things. Uh there's a great scene though, I'm sure if you've been watching stuff or, you know, trying to I'm trying to avoid spoilers. There's a great scene though, even in the basic commercial, you see where the rifts are opening up and tearing open. When they actually start opening the rifts that you start actually paying attention to some of the characters in the background that could be in that rift and the shadows that they're giving. Ooh like there was some nice hinting in there about what could be coming. It was fantastic. And then the end credit scene. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, the first one, not the second one. So if you haven't gone to the theaters to see the movie yet, the second post credit scene is literally the trailer for Doctor Strange. Multiverse of Madness. That That is what it is. So if you've already watched that online, you don't need to stay for it. There's nothing extra that you will not see in the Multiverse of Madness trailer. The first post credit scene, though, that was awesome. Now, I have not seen Venom versus Carnage, or whatever the hell they call the movie. Um, I haven't seen it yet. I'll see it as soon as it hits one of the streaming services. I did make sure to watch the end credit scene, though, online. So I would... Because I started hearing that there was a tie-in to Spider-Man. So I went and watched the end credit scene from Spider-Man versus... Or, I mean, Venom Carnage. And... It plays and, and, you know, showing that whole thing and you keep expecting Venom to show up at some point in the movie. And he does! In the first post credit scene. And it's a brilliant, brilliant moment. The way they play it up and, and what they're, the way they do it and whatnot, it is awesome. Just really sm I'm going to say it was really smart. It was really well done because it, it was something you did not expect, but you really wanted. You didn't know how much you wanted it until you got it. And then you realize, ooh, I did really want that. So, yeah. Um, at this point, I've rambled on uh, a little bit. If you have not seen Spider-Man, go see it. If you have not watched Hawkeye yet, watch it. You will not be let down by the Spider-Man movie. I, I, I just, if you are a, even a Spider-Man movie fan, you will not be let down by this movie. You just can't be, man. It is a really good movie, you know? Uh, unfortunately, they only had so much time to play with it. But this is definitely, this is definitely going to be, I think, the last Avengers level movie true Avengers level movie, if you know what I mean, like where, you know, you got multiple people in there and, you know, you got a nice build up for multiple storylines and stuff like that. Okay. So this is going to be one of the very last movies at that level. So as I've been rambling on here and I'm getting animated with my hand gestures, uh, let's go comments, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd like to hear my thoughts on Marvel wise. I'm DC, I don't talk much about DC because I'm not a huge DC fan. I'm more of a Marvel fan. And I like the independent stuff too. Um, you know, so if you actually want me to talk about comic books at all, let me know if you want me to talk about comic books. I can talk comic books to a degree. I'm not up to date with comic books. I'll be a little bit behind, but you know, anyways. Uh, leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think, what you like, what you don't like, whatever. Uh, speaking of, hit the like button. That's nice. I like the like button. Hit the like button. That's nice. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the share button. Uh, that, that, that helps us out as well as the notification button. That helps both of us out that way. Um, and then otherwise folks, peace, love, take care.